Hey, what up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the fly through. I've been getting a lot of questions about my rates on the Cinelog 25 and finally I decided to do that video. So this applies to the Cinelog 25 and if you apply these settings to other quads, maybe it's a good baseline and you, maybe you can just adjust from there. If you're wondering about what batteries I use or uh, what I did to my Cinelog 25, in the description below I posted my previous videos so you could take a look at what I did. But this video will only be about Betaflight. In the configuration tab, this would go with all Cinewoops. Turn off air mode. So the reason being is you're whooping, you don't want air mode is really prone to getting you sucked into a wall if it's on. Uh, even with it's off, you know, sometimes you can get sucked into a wall. That's just the way it is. But with air mode on, it's more likely. So I turn that off. PID tuning. So I'm using Betaflight 4.2. If you type these into Betaflight 4.4 or something, it's pretty much almost the same thing. Uh, I would ignore this. This is just like the factory tune of the Cinelog 25 from GEPRC. If you're using this on a different drone or something, do not use this, okay? But this is the one to pay attention to. When I shoot real estate, I always use angle mode. I do not use acro. So this is my tune for angle. So strength 32. I do not use horizon, so ignore this line. Angle limit 45. What strength is, is basically, if you think of like a rubber band, it's like the lower the number, the looser the rubber band is. If you have it really low, your quad might not tilt as much as you go along, but it will be very unresponsive. So I found this to be a pretty good number to not have that tilt effect too much. You know how it kind of rolls a little bit, like a tiny bit as you, if you push the sticks too much. 32 is a good number for me. And angle limit is kind of like, how much angle do you want the quad to have? So I experimented with this. I put it low, I put it high. So the higher the angle, the faster you can go in angle mode, right? You just push the sticks, it'll go like 55 angle and it'll go like super fast. Having your angle strength and angle limit too low, although it will feel very smooth, as soon as you go outside and hit a windy day, it's a recipe for disaster because you just can't feel your sticks the wind will blow your quad away. So a little bit of warning right there. Yeah, don't ask me how I know about that. So here are my rates. Apparently roll and pitch doesn't matter in angle mode, but it does use yaw. So you can copy this, give it a try. This part is really important. You see, throttle limit, I have it at scale. So for me, throttle limit percentage, I set it at 55 and throttle mid and Throttle Expo, I got it both at 0.5. Try these out guys, see how it helps you and let me know. When you punch in these numbers and fly your quad around your house, is your sticks in the middle and a little bit higher? If so, then it's good. The reason why you want it in the middle and a little bit higher is because when you turn, especially flying over hard surfaces, the quad actually drops a tiny bit and you still need a little bit of resolution to fight that. So as you get better and better in angle mode and you're like turning and you feel the quad dropping, you get you got enough resolution still from midpoint. You know, you're not fiddling with the high point or the bottom point just to fly your quad, you're actually like relaxed in the middle neutral zone of your sticks. All right, so now we're gonna talk about our modes. Because we turned off air mode, now you can actually add, add a link to air mode. So to do that, okay, I'm just gonna delete it and you just have to find it. Because you disabled it, now it's been an option here. Uh, so sorry, add range. So I'm just setting it to aux 2. Aux 2 is my tri rocker switch. I think that's what they're called. If I were to just do freestyle, I want air mode on and I want to, and it's just automatically it's acro, right? So air mode, see, I would do that and then save. By default, air mode is on. When I'm ready to do an interior fly through, I want angle mode. So then I set my rocker switch to the third position and you can see air mode is off now. So. I also have something on FPV angle mix. I think I was just experimenting with it. I actually don't know if it does anything, but you can turn it on if you want. And I set my camera at zero degrees. I don't know, give it a try, um, but I have a feeling it doesn't do anything. 
but you know, any experts want to chime in. Okay, so the last thing you need to do is just make sure your quads level. I know a lot of you have already done this before, but when doing real estate fly throughs, it truly has to be level. I know all of us have been putting the quads on a table or the floor because you believe it's level, but sometimes it's not. So how I test this is I put the quad on a level surface and then I hit calibrate accelerometer, right? And then it'll say zero, zero here. Then after that, take it for a test flight inside your house. So just lift up the throttle and let it hover just throttle only and if it hovers perfectly center and just drifts like maybe a tiny bit left right back or forward that's fine let's say it's drifting off to the right like this you know something's wrong with your table so what i usually do is i just i'll calibrate again on the table but i'll just lift up the quad a tiny bit i'll cheat a little bit counter that drift so put the quad back on a level surface and just counter that direction with a finger or a thin object and then hit calibrate then test hover it again and next thing you know the quad will actually be straighter this time cool well that's it guys hope you liked the video I just want to say a special thank you to everyone who purchased through my affiliate links. It makes me feel so happy that you guys are buying this stuff. And, you know, it supports my family and it supports the making of these videos. And it makes me excited to want to make more content and try to help everyone out and make the best fly through videos possible. So if you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.